A 16-year-old girl says she was sexually assaulted. Where and when they say it happened makes the attack even more disturbing. In the back of an ambulance. Tonight, for the first time and only on NBC4, that teenager is sharing her story. Hetty Chang reports on why the girl and the sheriff's investigators believe there may be other women who've been victimized by the same worker. My heart's kind of racing. It's a lot to take in. The 16-year-old from Murrieta asked us not to show her face or use her name. She's traumatized. It was just five days ago, on Friday, when she says her school called her an ambulance for a medical emergency. She was on her way to get help at the hospital in the back of an ambulance and under the care of an ambulance worker, where she was supposed to be safe, or so she thought. He asked me, um my name, my age, and then like he asked me if I was sexually active, and I said no. She says the ambulance worker then kissed her, proceeded to grope her, then sexually assaulted her. She says she froze in fear and that the man bragged about other victims. Because he told me that there was other young women that he did stuff with and that he had a new girl every week. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department arrested 22-year-old Jason Anderson of Wildemar, who they identify as an employee of American Medical Response, or AMR. They released his booking photo, which was showing because investigators think he did this to other women who have yet to come forward. The girl's attorney and family believe there are many others out there. He saw that she was very beautiful. He saw that she was young. And most importantly, he saw that she was extremely vulnerable. Um, and so he exploited that. Anderson's employer sent us a statement tonight reading in part, the employee in question was placed on administrative leave during the course of our internal investigation and has not worked since the day the alleged incident took place. AMR will cooperate fully during the course of the Riverside Sheriff's investigation. Our record search tonight shows that Anderson was released from jail after he posted bond. He's due in court in June where he faces two felony counts of sexual battery and sexual penetration by force. Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.